Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's a match preview, it's Luton versus Cardiff. But before I get on with the match preview guys, today's video is sponsored by the guys at OneFootball. OneFootball is a free football app which you guys can download for free on the Apple Store or on the Play Store. Now as we're playing Cardiff in our next game in the Championship, what are the stats for this upcoming game? Now the way I'll find out the stats for the upcoming games which we play in the Championship is through one football. So Cardiff are currently seventh in the championship. They have 40 points, but let's see what their away form is like. They currently have a very good away form. They sit six in the championship on away form and they've picked up 22 points. Let's see how many points we've picked up at home. Now our home form is mid table form with 14th in the championship on our home form and we've picked up 20 points. So in this game, we would like to improve that and get some points at home to Cardiff. If you guys want to see more stats for this upcoming game against Cardiff, make sure you download the One Football app. It gives you all the stats you need for this game. So before I quickly get on with today's match preview, if you guys didn't know, I have a YouTube group on Discord, which is free by the way to join. Click the link in the description below and you guys can obviously join the Discord group and talk to other subscribers on my YouTube channel. So Luton versus Cardiff. Now, before Mick McCarthy got the job at Cardiff, I was quite confident that when this game did come about, Luton could get three points. Now, obviously, ever since then, my opinion has now changed because Cardiff have picked up some form. They're doing very well in the league since McCarthy has come to the club. They're unbeaten in their last five games with him. Well, he hasn't actually lost a game since being at Cardiff. So they're on a very good run of form and it's going to be very challenging to get three points at home against them. We don't normally do well against Cardiff and we haven't done since we've returned back to the championship. So fingers crossed we can put that right and obviously get the three points at home to Cardiff. Looking back at the last time we played them, we lost 4-0 at their place and it was one of the worst away performances of the season. We got destroyed, you know, in a physical style of play. Cardiff are one of those teams who like to play a physical style of play. So I can see the likes of Glen Ray starting, same with Matty Pearson. But the problem is that didn't really work last time we played against Cardiff. So I don't know if Nathan will go with a more, you know, attacking approach against them rather than a physical defensive style of play. Set pieces is something which Luton need to watch out for. I think we conceded three goals from set pieces against Cardiff and then one of the goals came from our corner and Cardiff just counter-attacked us and scored that way round. Moore is a fantastic striker, especially at this level and he causes so many problems in the air. So the likes of Tom Lockyer, Sonny Bradley, they need to be man-marking and they need to stop him causing any sort of problems in this game because I feel like if he gets one chance... He's going to score it, where with us, we all know we need more than one chance to score. And that's become quite known to the fans over the last few weeks. And I'm pretty sure that when clubs come and play us, they also know that we need more than one chance to score. However, I'm a little bit more confident going into this game because we obviously did get a 1-0 away win to Birmingham. Yes, it was a pretty, but it's an ugly win. You get those types of wins throughout the season. We got into good attacking positions. We're slightly getting better, but we're still struggling to score more than one goal. I can 100% see the likes of Adebayo and Tom Mintz playing in this game. Whether or not I think they will start is a different story, but I can definitely see these two players coming on with 20 minutes to go if we are like behind or drawing in this game. Do I think Cardiff will come to Luton and play for a draw? No, I do think they'll go for the three points. The reason for this is because they're literally outside the playoff places and by the end of the season, they want to be in there. Last season, they got in there, so why wouldn't they want to be in there again this year? They obviously want to go up. They were in the Premier League a few years ago, so they want to go back there, you know, just like majority of the clubs in the Championship, you know, so... They will come to Luton and try and get the three points. So hopefully we see a good battle. We're not going to see two teams like part the bus. We're going to see a competitive game of football. Cardiff having that more physical style of play where Luton, I don't really know what style of play we're going to go for. Will we match Cardiff and go physical or will we play our own style of play and that's playing the ball on the floor and played a little bit indirectly. Just to quickly point out as well, Morel done very well when he came on against Cardiff. 
Now, he came on against Cardiff when I think we were 3-0 down at one point. But when he was on the pitch away to Cardiff, he actually done very well. You know, he played the ball about quite well. He was good with the ball at his feet. He made plenty of good passes. And he could feature in this game against Cardiff. But we all know that Nathan, for some weird reason, he doesn't like playing him. I don't know why, but... I don't think injuries have helped Morel, but at the same time, when he has been fit, he's not getting any game time. So, I don't know if Morel will play in this game against Cardiff. I hope he does, but I can't see it because he hasn't played in a very long time. So, probably not. For me, I really want us to start picking up more points. Yes, I know we picked up three points away to Birmingham, but I don't want us to fall into that relegation battle. I want us to increase that gap even more. And if we can do that by picking up a few more wins over the next upcoming games, that would be brilliant, you know. I want, by the end of the season, when there's six games left, not to panic and think we could go down. I want us to guarantee that safety in the Championship for another season and then we can push on again in the third season in the Championship. When we guaranteed safety, Nathan can start trialling out different systems and different like tactical approaches, different lineups which he could potentially use in the next season, which for me is very exciting, but we have to stay up first and guarantee safety before he eventually does that. At the start of the season, I said I wanted a boring year. To be fair, I kind of got that, you know, inconsistent results as expected for a mid-table championship side. So I'm very happy where we are, but I just want a few more wins in the next upcoming games to make sure we guaranteed safety for another year in the championship. What would be my score prediction for this game against Cardiff? I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. I think we will score, but I do think Cardiff will score first and we're going to be chasing the game. And that's where I see the likes of Adebayo and Ince coming on. What style 11 do I think Nathan will pick for the game against Cardiff? I actually think he'll keep it the same. This literally the same team that played against Birmingham. I can't see Nathan changing that system unless there's injuries but I don't think there is, so I can see Nathan just playing the same starting eleven that played against Birmingham. So there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on today's video if you did. Comment below your score predictions and predicted 11s that you will play in this game against Cardiff. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you join my free YouTube Discord group. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.